In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use XTZ RUM Analyzer to take acoustical measurements. The first thing to do is to set output levels correctly. In the background, you should hear a pink noise measurement. This is XTZ's way of confirming that the levels are set appropriately in the room. Here you can see that the bar is green and the line is not red. This means that levels are set appropriately in this measurement. Once levels are set appropriately, the next step is to perform the acoustical measurements. It is possible in XTZ Room Analyzer to average the measurements over three positions, which is particularly useful in home theatre type environments where you may have more than one important seat. When I press the measure button, you will hear XTZ Room Analyzer take a number of measurements using the swept sign technique. XTZ Room Analyzer averages four or so of these swept signs to produce the acoustical measurements. XTZ is finished. You'll see now it's analyzing the results and presenting you with the acoustical measurements. What you see is two very interesting and useful acoustical measurements. The first one is a low frequency response of your room. This is from 16 Hz to 300 Hz. And it clearly shows locations of peaks and dips in the frequency response. The other very interesting, interesting view that XTZ Room Analyzer provides is a low frequency time domain view. This is extremely useful for identifying modal resonances in your room. You can also see that XTZ has found one of these room modes at 45 Hz. On the time domain view you can clearly see an extended ringing in the time domain associated with this room mode. You will also see there are other areas where there is extended ringing for example here, but XTZ has not analyzed these to be a major issue. That's it. In this uh, short demonstration I've shown you how to take a room measurement using XTZ Room Analyzer and hopefully you will see and understand how simple it is to do so.